Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I hope you're all doing well. First and foremost, I just want to take a couple of seconds to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that showed me so much love in yesterday's video. I was so overwhelmed and emotional with just all of the positive feedback. Everybody, you know, saying they missed me and they're so happy that I'm back. I was honestly so surprised at everybody that showed up for that video and I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much and I'm still responding to comments. There's so many and they're, they're still coming and to all of the new subscribers, welcome. Thank you for subscribing and I hope that you enjoy today's video and all of the other videos that are to come and there is many. I have such a packed um, filming schedule. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to figure it out. So I just wanted to get that out of the way and say thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you so much. Um, today, we are going to be stuffing and going over our budget for paycheck one and paycheck two of October. I know it's already the end of the month almost, but um, since I just came back, I kind of just want everything to be in order and then um, I will kind of settle back into normal routine come November. I'm just pretty much jam packing everything into these last week and a half, two weeks of um, October. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over the budget with you guys really quickly. I do leave timestamps if you guys are not interested in the budget breakdown. Um, I just always like to go over it and talk about it just in case it helps somebody or you know they implement something into their own budget so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i will zoom you guys in all right let's go over the first paycheck budget of october we're going to be working with 1913 dollars with 85 cents and brian's vacation check came out to 636 dollars with 50 cents we total that up and it's 2550 dollars and 35 cents our bills for the first paycheck of october services which is our pool cleaning service and our landscaping service is 160 dollars and that also includes a 10 dollar um, bonus five dollars for each that we have been saving throughout the year so that for christmas we're able to give them 50 dollars each and that is in cash it's already been paid that's why there's a little star there U.S. Law Shield, $19. Trash, $30. Trash did increase about, I'm not even sure how much. I did increase it to $30. It used to be $24 a month, and that is an expense, a bill that comes out every three months, every quarter. But I budgeted it as a monthly bill just so that the money is there, and then it gets deducted once the three months um, accumulate. It did go up, like I said. I'm not sure how much. Hopefully, $30 is enough. If not, I will adjust it for November. Dues, $93. Subscriptions, $74. I jumble all of them up together, and then they just come out um, whenever they are due. Uh, I do have a little post-it in one of my planners where I have everything listed, the what it is, the due date, and the amount. But I always like to take it out the first uh, week of the month. Cell phone, $245. That also increased about $5. I think it was like a state tax or something. We are financing two of our cell phones. Mine should be paid off in December, I believe. And Brian's like mid next year. I am going to be getting a new phone. So my phone, I will be giving it to my son, Phoenix. Um, I just need a new phone with more memory since it is what I use to record and my son's phone has like pretty much no good it's a iphone 6 so it always discharges he just needs a new one so i will be giving him mine and then getting myself a new one i don't think i'm gonna get the 14 honestly i'm not that big of like a phone person that needs to have the latest and best thing um i might get the 12 i just want a good camera and a good amount of memory that's all that i really care about adt $76 that also increased about $5 and I think again it's like a state tax or something so that is another increase with those three things it was like it's like $15 to $20 it doesn't seem like much but 
over a span of what is it 12 months it could be an easily 240 dollars so kind of sucks but that's the kind of world we're living in right now right and then water 154 dollars for a total of 851 we're stuffing 725 into our cash envelopes extra expenses a wet the wedding outfits 150 dollars i always like to account for extra expenses separately because it's not something that comes up every single month even though i don't i don't know if we're going to use that much i just wanted to put aside that amount whatever if there's any left over i can always just add it back into next uh, week's budget not next week's budget <laughs> by the end of november um, of october uh, we didn't have enough in our clothing envelope, so that's why we had to put aside some money for that. Sinking funds, $203. There are no debt payments for the week, so the week total, counting everything up, is $1,929. The cash we are stuffing today is $1,238. Although the services, that's already been paid, so it's not here. I'm only going to stuff the $10 for that um, Christmas bonus. Subtracting 1929 from the 2550 gives us a leftover of $621.35, which we keep in the bank for November's mortgage payment. Everything gets rolled over until the last paycheck of the month, and then we pay the following month's mortgage. I'm gonna go over the second paycheck. For the second paycheck of October, we're working with $1,768.56. Uh, Brian's TA pay is $369.93. And the total is $2,138.49. That TA pay is, this is the first paycheck since he went back. He was on vacation just like, you know, everybody that was off the summer. So this is the first one since um, he's been back. So that has definitely been a really, really big help. So now let's go over to bills. Um, my mother-in-law's life insurance is $12. Brian just split it up with his siblings, so that's why it's so low. Life insurance, $64. Electric, $100. And then a new bill that I kind of teased about in yesterday's video is um, Brian is paying more in child support now. He is paying an additional $700. A month on top of what he already pays for so we are splitting those payments that payment up into two so $350 will be accounted for in this paycheck and then the following $350 will come out of um, paycheck number three I was kind of hesitant to share this part because it might be a little bit TMI um, I did make sure to you know talk to brian about it whether he wanted me to share this or he rather you know kind of me just deduct it from the income and do everything on the back end but he just said go for it you know if it helps somebody this is our financial life this is our financial story so um we just have to roll with the punches and that's kind of what i talked about yesterday a little bit that sometimes a bill just comes out of left field and you kind of just have to rework the numbers and the good thing is that we have a set a foundation for our finances and it's taken a lot of time and a lot of, and a lot of practice this amount would have been like so um hard to deal with had we still had the same habits and the same spending habits just all of our mindset that we used to have way back when and now it's just another bill that we have to add it into our budget and it's not going to be forever um i'm just glad that we are able to to pay this without it disrupting anything else in our lives we're all just everything is still good the only thing that is you know getting a lot less money is our savings and that's just gonna have to be what it is for quite a while so i just wanted to um introduce that new bill and if you guys have any questions uh i don't know are you going through have you ever gone through a similar situation you know having stepchildren it comes with a lot of you know f different family dynamics it affects you know just the way your your family works and you know your finances work and you just have to roll with the punches the important thing and that i always have 
in the back of my head is that we are we are just blessed so i will i will leave it at that i know that <laughs> that was already a rant in itself so for all of that is 526 dollars we're stuffing 345 dollars into our cash envelopes extra expenses um the wedding gift we are going to be giving them a hundred dollars um just in cash for you know whatever they might need i don't know if they're going on a honeymoon or whatever it'll it'll help uh so that's a hundred dollars for that sinking funds 203 dollars there are no debt payments for this week and our week total is 1174 dollars total cash for this week is 648 and the leftover is 964 dollars with 49 cents which like i mentioned in the first paycheck um, it just stays in the bank and we are accumulating all of the money for the following mortgage payments so that is going to be both budgets for the first two paychecks of the month i'm already out of breath all right so now let's get on to the cash stuffing portion let me close this up i'm not going to be referring to these two budgets because it's just going to be too confusing to go back and forth i have a little cheat sheet here on the side um, i'm going to go ahead and just count all of the cash we should have 1656 so let's make sure one two three four five six seven hundred fifty one hundred one fifty 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 420, 40. That one was giving me a little bit of trouble. Plus 440. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Plus 180. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, plus 170, and we should have 16 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 16 so yeah we're ready to go plus 16 now like always we're gonna start with our cash envelopes i'll just leave this here to the side and we're starting off with gas gas will be getting 120 dollars so we are gonna do i think i have to do them all in 20s so one two three four five six that's the bad part since i did combine both budgets i don't really know what are my denominations so let's hope i don't need any change any any in any envelope so now we have 20 40 60 80 100 and 20 40 60 80 200 220 30 35 36 37 a lot of this um it has been used i am going to be doing an unstuffing in tomorrow's video i have to film it and get it ready to go so um you guys will see you know we've already pumped gas a few times since uh the beginning of the month uh miscellaneous is getting uh how much 40 so that's two 20s now we have 50 pets is getting 40 as well, 220s, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77. 80 dollars is like the sweet spot as far as pets goes. And I, every time I do a household run, I always do um, online pickup at Sam's Club. So I get all their dog food and supplies and it's pretty much been a sweet spot, but I do have like a tiny buffer in there. Just in case i want to buy them like toys or anything extra beauty is getting 40 and there is a little bit in here 20 40 60 65 70. brian should be getting a haircut since we're going to that wedding um on saturday and the kids will probably all get haircuts 
my son phoenix actually wants to grow his hair out that boy has not combed his hair in like over a month <laughs> it literally looks like he has a poof on the top of his head and that's how he likes it i keep telling him comb your hair he he just doesn't want to and i'm um, i'm just letting him be um kids is getting 50. so i think that's two twenties and two fives 20 40 60 65 70. my son phoenix he actually asked me for some tech decks which he's 13. i thought tech decks were like you know nowhere near his radar anymore but he wanted tech decks so i bought him like a pack of four the ones where you can build uh, yourself and he's been playing with those and taking them to school he's so funny <laughs> giving is getting ten dollars and i'm gonna do all singles one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i did add a couple of dollars to my wallet and i think i'll just add three more and let the remaining accumulate the last time we emptied it out i believe it was for my nephew jace's fundraiser at school so i do like to let it accumulate i never take it out for you is getting thirty dollars brian already got his so i'm not counting that um and today's stuffing this is just for me oh actually this is his i didn't even give it to him yesterday <laughs> so this is for me i'm gonna go ahead and put it in here and i do have quite a bit so i might need some shoes for my wedding outfit I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 60, 1, 2. So if that um, that extra expenses, $150 that I put aside for that is not enough, then um, let me put this away. Then I'm, I'll be able to dip into that for the shoes. Takeout, it's getting 200. So we're going to do 150. 50 and then another 50. So now we have one, 150, 220. We've actually been, well, I'm not gonna lie, we have been eating out quite a bit, but we are under budget. We haven't blown through the whole um, 200 and something dollars that we have in here. So that's that's a good thing. And groceries is getting $400. So that's one, two, three, four. And now we have 420. We do have quite a bit of food. Um, I do have to stock up on some meats and I try to buy the sales. Um, I try to do a lot of pastas because it's, you know, you can feed a lot more and it stretches out. You just need a little bit of protein in there. Food prices are just insane. I know all of you guys are feeling it. I try to buy whatever I can in bulk from Sam's Club and then, and, little odds and ends from like food for less or just cheaper um grocery stores i need to start hitting up aldi again i haven't gone for a while and it's just because food for less is just literally three minutes away from my house and aldi is about 15 minutes but i need to start going there again because i i love that store and it is a lot cheaper even though it's probably i think the prices have been higher there too but it's still not the same as everywhere else household is getting sixty dollars so i think we are doing a 50 and a 10 if i'm not mistaken so now we have 50 60 65 75 <laughs> excuse my dog if you can hear him I am filming a little bit later than I intended to. This video has been filmed in portions. My daughter is making a little bit of a noise behind me. Uh, she did wake up a little bit sooner than I thought. So I just, I really wanted to get this video out today and I'm just making it work. Um, extras is getting the 250. So that's 200 and 220s and a 10. 
my dress was around $42, I believe. So we do have a little bit over $100 for Brian's shirt, Brian's pants, and if I get some shoes, hopefully we stay within budget, but I do have my, you know, my little spending money to fall back on. Now let's go ahead and get started with our sinking funds. Emergency fund is gonna be getting $10. I think it's two fives. I did withdraw the money and I had withdrawn it like in two separate occasions. So I had to combine all the money together. So it's a little bit confusing as to which denominations I need. Um, we'll see. I think, I think I'm doing a pretty good job <laughs> considering. So now emergency fund has five, six, seven, eight hundred, eight twenty, eight forty, eight sixty, eight eighty, nine hundred and twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, ninety five, one thousand and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Home repairs is getting sixty six, two twenties, two tens. And six singles, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we got that. Okay. So now we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand, one thousand, one hundred and fifty, seventy, ninety, two ten, two thirty, two fifty, two seventy, two eighty, two ninety, two ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight. 1,298. Home decor is actually not getting anything. I'm skipping all the way to car maintenance. That is getting 20. I'm just gonna grab a 20. So we have 120 now. I do have to get an oil change pretty soon. So most of that's gonna be gone. Um, annual bills is getting 10. Now we have 120, 40, 60, 80, 90, 210, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. 243. I always like to add a little bit to annual bills because we do have a quite, I did write it back here. I do count tax preparation as annual bills, the Sam's Club membership, Xbox Live Gold, um, any DMV services. And then I do want to start adding um, a little bit at a time for Brian's union dues. He can pay them like the whole year. But right now we're just we're, we're not there yet. But I do want to start adding a little bit so that eventually we are able to just pay for the whole year um, and not have to worry about that every month. So, not, you know, it's something less to keep track of. Services is getting ten dollars. I'm gonna do two fives. So now we have twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. And nothing in rollover. I just have it there in case um any rollover for my cat from our cash envelopes. But I am gonna be doing um you guys will see when I do my uh budget setup. I am gonna be doing like a backup cash envelopes. So pretty much the rollover from every particular category is going to have its own like rollover envelope. And that's it's I'm going to be adding to it in order to accumulate, um, you know, buffers in every single category. Because you all know I love buffers. <laughs> so now let's go over to this binder. My daughter is getting... $20 or $10? She's getting $10. Two fives. I have a whole bunch of fives. So now she has 1,100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 210, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So she has 12, 30. And I have uh before in the past i have uh received a couple comments asking me if these are real bills and no they are not real bills um i think they asked me about the 500 dollars bill um so no they're not real bills it's just it represents the money that is in 
our savings account. Excuse my daughter if you can hear her in the background. Um, my son Phoenix is getting 20 yeah, twenty dollars. So that's two tens. So now he has one thousand twenty forty sixty eighty one hundred twenty forty sixty eighty two hundred two ten two twenty two thirty two forty two fifty two sixty two seventy two eighty two ninety twelve ninety. And I will be doing a bill exchange after I'm done with all of the other videos that I have to do to like keep up to date which is a lot. So sometime next month, I might do a bill exchange. My son, Josiah, is also getting 20, two tens. Now he has 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. So the same 12, 90. And Isaiah is getting $20 as well. Let's see. Now he has 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 420, 440, 460, 480, 520, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57. And I'm a cheat. Sixteen fifty-seven. <laughs> all of my trackers are updated, by the way. I try to do all of that off camera because it can it can be a little tedious. Back to school is getting ten dollars into two fives. Let me push these these forward. Now we have twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred, and twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. By the way, when our kids went back to school and we did all of our back to school shopping, I we definitely did not have enough in back to school. There was like $200 in there. So we ended up using our tax refund. Not all of our tax refund. We used a portion of it, um, you know, to buy them all the back to school supplies and clothes and everything. We did use quite a bit more for my son, Phoenix, because he has just grown and outgrown most of his clothes. And um, I did get a little bit for my daughter, not too much because she is at home most of the time and most of the time we're in pajamas, to be honest. <laughs> Can you tell? Um, <laughs> so yeah, we did use a portion of the tax refund. We received a little bit over $5,000. It was like $5,010. And we have like over $1,800 put aside that we're going to use and I'll have that in another video just to let you guys know how we're going to use that money that is something that is just like put aside i have it in our ally bank in one of the buckets because there is um we are going to use that for something specific and then whatever is left after that we'll probably put it towards our vacation savings or you know helping with the vacation we are going to have next year clothing I'm like out of breath. <laughs> it's getting ten dollars. So now there's twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. I've honestly been refusing to buy clothes because, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, I gained quite a bit of weight, like fifteen pounds, and like none of my jeans fit me. I've been living in leggings. That's been for a while, but now, like for real, I've been living in leggings. And I don't want to buy new clothes. I'll probably buy like a couple of jeans just to be comfortable because I still, you know, try to shove the jeans that I have on and they're not comfortable at all. <laughs> Activities is actually not getting anything. That's what happens when you get distracted. Um, health is getting a tiny bit, $10. Two. So now there's 100, 120, 130, 140, 141, 142. And one of the latest things that had to do with health, and thank God, um, you know, we're all okay, is I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this. It was news to me, but my son, Phoenix, he actually caught, um, it's called hand, feet, and throat disease. And it pretty much just looks like a whole bunch of little dots in the palms of your hands and in the palms of your feet 
and then like in the back of your throat you just see little red spots and they are painful and itchy and um, I ended up having to take him to urgent care just to you know how do I get rid of this I have no I googled it and it that came up but I had no idea what it was just to make sure and the copay was only $20 he he was fine he was actually off of school for a week and my daughter also ended up getting it but she only got the spots in the back of her throat she had a sore throat for a few days and um but yeah he was he was pretty much good after that week he was just like itchy and uncomfortable my son never gets sick so he was very very uncomfortable but they're all good they're healthy and thank god i was scared for a bit um just because you start to google things and that you know sickness can actually have people um their nails fall off it mostly affects kids and it gets contracted usually at school or at daycares so just you know keep an eye out for that if your kids or anybody you know have those has those little spots keep them at home and there's really no medicine for it they just told me to give them tylenol for the pain and um it like anti-itching cream which didn't really work um but he's all good now so that's one of the few things that happened these past few months. Family Fun is getting $20. That's two tens. So now there's 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. 74 dollars. We are going to be going to the aquarium um early in November for my nephew Jace's birthday. So I'm trying to save up um quite a bit of money and family fun since that is something that we're gonna have that we're gonna do and then we're gonna go to a restaurant after that so i do want to have that fully funded by that time vacation is getting 50 dollars so let me do 220s and two fives now vacation we have one two three four five hundred five fifty five seventy five ninety 610, 630, 650, 670, 690, 710, 720, 730, 740, 750, 12, 752. Birthdays is getting 20. So I'm going to do two tens. Now there's 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85. 90 95 100 and 5 10 11 12 i'm also going to be uh we're going to be taking um some of the money here for jace's gift we usually give them cash just so that they can um buy whatever whatever it is that they want uh christmas is getting 70 dollars so that is gonna be 70 dollars let's see 30 40 50, 60, 70. Yeah, those denominations are definitely wrong, but it's okay. Money's money. All right, so now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600, 700, 750. I'm going to use my calculator for that. 750 plus 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 120. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, plus 81, 951 dollars in Christmas, um, holidays is getting 30, 10, 20, 30, and now there's 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 235, 240, 245, 250, 255, 260, 265, 66, 67, 68, 69, $269. That was definitely not a smooth count. I paused. <laughs> um, and dates is getting the last $10. So now there's 20, 40, 60, 80, 110. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 
that's definitely a good amount for a date but i'm just adding a little little by little because every time we end up going somewhere it just it ends up being more than we anticipated and i'd rather be ready than have to pull from our um from our buffer which we do have quite a large buffer in our checking account we always try to keep at least two thousand dollars in there just in case that's how i'm also able to um just pay for things if we do have to pay for a metal debit card even though most of the time it's our credit but whenever we pay our credit card the money is already there in our checking account i don't have to run to the bank and deposit all of the cash that i had to unstuff um that's how i do recircle recircle <laughs> recycle a lot of the money um i just always like to have that buffer in there because it's like a, an emergency fund to your emergency fund that has an emergency fund I know I'm a, I'm a little bit insane, but it's okay. <laughs> it works. So that is going to be the end of this video, you guys. I'm going to leave it short and sweet. Not really. But um, if you made it up until this point, go ahead and put a skeleton emoji for my friend Jack over here. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. I will be putting up videos pretty much every day um, until I catch up. So I hope you guys are ready for that. And you don't get tired of me. So... <laughs> As always, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day or night. See you next time. Bye.